Well, that was a classic stupid Will moment. Um, that amazing church behind me, it was just open. I was just, wow, was amazed by the architecture and this beautiful plaza here. So I decided to walk in and oh, there's all these signs and everything on the, on the walls and on the entrance uh, in Spanish. And I walk in and you know, everyone's kind of, you know, it's all quiet. It's a church, obviously. And some people are praying and things. I sat down. It was just very, very peaceful in there. And as I was leaving, I said, I saw the only English sign there. It said, please note that Tuesdays, which is today, are only for prayer and they're not for visitation. Thank God I was at least very subtle with my camera because I didn't want to be disrespectful, but I feel kind of bad now. But that is, look at that. I mean, that's such an incredible building. And all the architecture around here is amazing, but that, that especially is. Amazing churches and the architecture and the ruins and things they have right in the middle of Antigua are just amazing. And this one here, I checked before I went in, they had a big clear sign, no video cameras. So I went, okay, no problem. I put it away, I walked inside. As I was leaving, I looked back and it's no shorts, not allowed to wear tank tops, you're not allowed to obviously bring in a dog, I understand that. You're not allowed to talk to each other, all, this, just all these things you can't do. But uh, I got to poke my head in, I accidentally walked in with, you know, I'm wearing, it's hot out, I'm wearing shorts, so. But uh, I accidentally got to walk in and see it, and then I saw the sign that said no shorts. So I thought I was being uh, pretty considerate, putting away my camera, but then I didn't realize being in flip-flops and shorts is one of the many things that is apparently disrespectful. So maybe I'm gonna go back and change so I can make sure to check out all these ruins and all these churches and old buildings here in the center of Antigua. <music> This is the ruins of San Francisco. This is connected to that church that I was just in, that amazing building there. And it must be of a different era because this, as you can see all the buildings around me here, these are genuinely ruins. These are pretty dilapidated and pretty run down. The gardens are amazing. And then there's the building, the church that I was in, which is in still an absolutely pristine condition. cool included in the in the cost you can go into this museum here behind me and it's dedicated to a guy named brother Pedro and I was just reading about it. some of it some of the stuff is just in Spanish some of it's in English as well but he was just basically a person of the church who just helped out all the need the needy people and it's cool because they have a ton of artifacts of not like of actually his things you know it's not like drawings and, and depictions of oh this is what he would have looked like this is what he would have wore they actually had you know his underwear and his undergarments and his shoes and things like that just laid out plain for you to see and this was back in um you know the 1650s so a while ago and uh all of it's still in really really good shape so it's really cool to see that and it's not just you know oh here's a fiber of his uh you know of his shoe or here's a piece of his hat they actually have his clothes and everything very well intact mm -hmm. 